which of the dukes he values most. Is this not your son, my lord? I have, sir, a son by order of law, some year elder than this, who is yet no dearer in my account. Do you know this noble gentleman, Edmund? No, my lord. My lord of Kent, remember him hereafter as my honorable friend. My services to your lordship. I must love you and sue to know you better. He hath been out nine years, and away he shall again. Kent, on thy life no more. See better, Lear. Out of my sight! 
Dear sir, forbear. I'll tell thee thou dost evil. On thine allegiance, hear me. If thy vanished trunk be found in our dominions, the moment will be thy death away. I know you, what you are. Love well our father. Prescribe not us our duties. Time shall unfold with plated cunning hide. I think our father will hence tonight. That's most certain, and with you, next month with us. You see how full it changes his ages? He always loved our sister the most. The best and the sound of his time has been but rash. Such unconstant starts are we like to have him as this of Kent's banishment. We must do something, and in the heat. <laughs> Wherefore should I stand in the plague of custom and permit the curiosity of nations to deprive me for that I am some twelve or fourteen moonshines lack of a brother? Why bastard? Wherefore base? Well then, legitimate Edgar, I must have your land. Fine word, legitimate. Well, my legitimate, if this letter speed and my invention thrive, Edmund the base will talk the legitimate. I grow, I prosper. Now gods, stand up for bastards. Edmund, how now, what news? Nothing, my lord. <laughs> no? Let's see, come. I beseech you, sir, Pardon me, it is a letter from my brother. I find it not fit for your oral looking. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy, you know the character to be your brother's? It is his hand, my lord, but I hope his heart is not in the contents. <laughs> oh, villain. Villain! His very opinion in the letter. A horrid villain! Unnatural! And Pat, he comes. Come, come. When you saw our father last? Why the night gone by? Parted you in good terms? Found you no displeasure in him by word or countenance? None at all. But think yourself wherein you may have offended him. And at my entreaty, forbear his presence till some little time hath qualified the heat of his displeasure, which at this instant so rageth in him. Some villain hath done me wrong. I do serve you in this business. <laughs> Let me, if not by birth, have lands by wit. All with me's meat that I can fashion fit. <laughs> But as well I other accents borrow, that can my speech diffuse, my good intent may carry through itself to that full issue, for which I raise my likeness. Did my father strike my gentleman? Yes, madam. Ugh, by day and night he wrongs me. I will not endure it. I will not speak to him and say I am sick. Dinner! Oh, dinner! Where's my name, my fool? Ah, you surround! Where is my daughter? So please you. What says the fellow there? How now? Where is that long crawled? He says, my lord, your daughter is not well. Why came not the slave back to me when I called him? My lord, he said... He, I know not what the matter is, but to my judgment, your Highness is not being entertained with that ceremony of affections as you were wont. Ha! Sayest thou so? Go you and tell my daughter I will speak with her. Dost thou know the difference, my boy, between a bitter fool and a sweet fool? No, lad. Teach me. The Lord that counseled thee to give away thy land. Come, stand him here by me. Do thou for him stand. The sweet and bitter fool will presently appear. 
The one in Motley found out here, the other found out there. Dost thou call me fool, boy? All thy other titles thou hast given away. July, Sir Rob, will have you whipped. Thou hast have me whipped for speaking true, thou hast have me whipped for lying, and sometimes I am whipped for holding my peace. I had rather be any kind of thing than a fool, and yet I would not be thee, good uncle. Thou hast paired thy wits of both parts and left nothing in the middle. Here comes one of the parents now. Oh no, my daughter, methinks you are too much late in the frown. Thou wast a pretty fellow when thou hadst no need to worry for her frowning. I am better than thou art now. I am a fool, thou art nothing. Doth any here know me? This, this is not Lear. Does Lear walk thus? Speak thus? Where are his eyes? Who is it that can tell me who I am? Lear Shadow! Your insolent retinue to hourly carp and quarrel. Here you keep a hundred knights and squires, men so disordered, so debauched and bold, that this our court, infected with their manners, Shows more like a riotous inn than a race palace. Saddle my horses, call my train together. Degenerate bastard. I'll not trouble thee, yet I have left a daughter. You strive, my people, and your disordered rabble make servants of their betters. How sharper than a serpent's tooth it is to have a thankless child. I have another daughter who I am sure is kind and comfortable. Do you mark that, my lord? I cannot be so partial, Donald, to the great love I bear you. Pray you content. How far your eyes may pierce, I cannot tell. Striving to better, often mar what's well. Go you before Gloucester with these letters. Acquaint my daughter no further with anything she demands out of the letter. If your diligence be not speedy, I shall be there afore you. I will not sleep, my lord, till I have delivered your letters. If thou wert my fool, uncle, I would have thee whipped for being old before thy time. How's that? Thou shouldst not have been old till thou hast been wise. <coughs> well, let me not be mad. Not mad, sweet heaven. Keep me in temper. Not mad. Come, boy. The Duke of Cornwall will be here tonight. The better, best. My father has set guard to take my brother. Oh, sir, fly from this place. I hear my father coming. Pardon me. In cunning, I must draw my sword upon you. Draw, seem to defend yourself. Lights, ho, oh, here, fly, brother. Torches, torches. Some blood drawn on me would beget a pin. Father, father. Now, Henry, <laughs> where is the villain? Here stood he in the dark, his sharp sword out. Where is the villain, Edmund? Look this way, sir, when by no means he could. Pursue him, ho! My old heart is cracked, and it's cracked! I will preserve myself. I am a thought to take the basest and most poorest shape. My face, I'll grime with filth. The country gives me proof and precedent of bedlam beggars. Poor Tom. That's something yet. Edgar, I'm nothing here. I'm glad to see your highness. Beloved Regan, thy sister's not. Oh, Regan, she hath tied sharp tooth on kindness like a vulture. Here. Oh, Regan, my curse is on her. Sir, you are old. You should be ruled and led. Therefore, I pray you, return to my sister. See, I have wronged her, sir. Ask her forgiveness? Dear.
your daughter. On my knees, I beg that you vouchsafe me with raiment, bed, and food. Sir, these are unsightly tricks. Returning to my sister. Never, Regan. She hath abated me half my train. Why not the hand, sir? How have I offended? Sir, being weak seems so. Until the expiration of your month, you will return to sojourn with my sister. It's missing half the train. Come then. Return to her and fifty men dismissed. No, I'd rather abjure all roofs and choose to wage against the enmity of the air. If you will come to me, I entreat you to bring but five and twenty. To no more will I give you place or notice. I gave you all. And in good time you gave it. Why need you five and twenty? Ten or five? What need one? Oh, reason not the need. Our basest beggars are in the poorest things superfluous. And allow not nature more than nature needs. Man's life as cheap as beasts. No. You unnatural hags, I will have such revenges on you both that all the world shall. I will do such things, what they are, yet I know not, but they shall be the terrors of the earth. Oh fool, I shall go mad. Let us withdraw, for we a storm. Tis own way hath put himself from us, and must needs taste his folly. I always see him gladly, but not one follower. Alack, the night comes on. For many miles about, there's scarce a bush. Shut up your doors, my lord. Come out in the storm. <laughs>
tis to cast one's eyes so low. Set me where you stand. Give me your arm. You are now within foot of the extreme barge. Bid me well and let me hear thee going. A very well, good sir. Why I do trifle in his despair is done to cure it. Oh, you mighty gods, this world I do renounce. If fierce and Edgar live, oh, bless him. my love, each jealous of the other. Which one shall I take? Both? <laughs> one? Neither can be enjoyed while both remain alive. Yes, it is. 
he compares the best. That were the most if he should husband you. Lady, I am not well. Sick, oh sick, my sickness goes upon me. She is not well, bear it to my tent. Thank you. 